Here she comes, Andy. All right, get ready. Don't go me, Andy. It's Mr. Spinks. You sure all of this is necessary? Of course it's necessary. It's competitive advantage in a limited market. You need to read more Forbes. Now tuck in that shirt. Hey, Milton. Hi, Jenny. Andy or uh, Mr. Spinks will be right out. Oh, hello, Jenny. Oh, we're just catching up on the business section. How nice of you to drop by. You invited me? Ah, yes. Welcome to Spanx Lemonata. This is your lemonade stand? Well, I like to think of it as a refreshment emporium, not just a stand. Ah, uh, here comes a customer now. Milton! Hi, sir. What can I get you today? I'll take a glass of lemonade. Uh, that'll be 50 cents, please. Ahem! Or, uh, would you like to upgrade that to pink lemonade? It's only a quarter extra. What? That's 50% more. We're in the middle of an economic crisis here. Sir, the pink lemonades are premium item refreshments. I know it comes at just a slightly higher cost, but it's more than just food coloring. It's a status symbol. It says that despite our ailing economy, I will not sacrifice the simple pleasures in life. Here, sir, take one of our cards. Purchase five glasses and the six ones on us. Preferred customers only. Milton, remember what Fortune magazine said. Upsell, upsell, upsell. You gotta talk them into it. Don't make me outsource you. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I'm trying to turn this establishment into a franchise, but get up is so hard to get. What's a franchise? Well, it's uh complicated. Have you seen the juicer? Cost me three weeks worth of allowance, but hey, it takes money to make money. I like to think of this as an investment. I get a dollar every week if I do my chores. Hey, I get two. Whoa. You should demand a raise. The only way you move up in the world is to ask for what you want. May I please have a glass of lemonade? Normally it's 50 cents. We'll write this one off the expense count. Thanks. Mm. This tastes good. Of course, I only use the best imported sugar for. Sorry, I have to take this. Business. Hello, Jimmy? There, what? You're breaking up. Hold on, let me call you back. Now our coverage isn't what it used to be. Thank God we kept our landline. Here you go, sir. Hello, Jimmy? Yeah, what do you mean they're out of landline? What kind of supplier are you? Well, you better get that wagon of yours down to the other store now, shouldn't you? I want to see two crates at the stand by tomorrow morning. Sorry, where was I? Oh, yes, imported sugar. Lemons are organically grown as well. You can taste the difference. Wow, you must sell a lot of lemonade. Well, some days I do make double digits. I have no doubt you'll survive the economic crisis. Economic crisis? Some people gave a few people all the other people's Sir, money, and no one wants to buy anything. Or at least that's what my dad tells me. Why would they want to do that? I guess because it's business. We'll be okay though, because we have a high concentration ratio. You only want to dirt lemonade a little bit. Wow, you must make a lot of money. I like to consider myself a success, but it does not come without a cost. Mr. Spinks, I need help here. Not now, Milton. As I was saying, I'm neglecting my social life quite a bit to get where I am. It's so lonely up here. That's so sad. But I did just get two tickets to the new club I was playing, and I wouldn't be at first. <laughs> hey, get back here. Joining me. Can't want them all, boss. At least we still have the stand. Back to work, Milton. That was 50 cents out of our profits. We're gonna need a bigger stand. And you'll do what daddy does
Mr. Spinks, we have changed for a 10.